Now that we can save our user and associate it to the model, we now wanna talk about permissions and how which users can do what inside of our app. This has nothing to do with authentication, it just has to do with permission. So if it is a user and they are logged in, then they can create it. Or if they're not logged in, then they can do stuff too. Um, and that's true about this perform create as well. So right now, this is kind of, well, maybe if they're not logged in, they might be able to still do it. Um, but that is not something we're gonna check quite yet because we haven't talked about authentication. And first I wanna do permissions. So let's go ahead and import from REST framework, permissions. We're gonna import a couple things here. And that is, the first one is allow any. And then the next one is, is authenticated. The next one is admin is admin user, excuse me. And then finally is authenticated or read only. Do note that it is, each one is capitalized. And if you mess up on any of those, you can def definitely take a look at the documentation for permissions themselves and it'll show all that stuff. Um, so now down here we can do authentication or excuse me, permission classes, and we can put it equal to a list of the permissions we want to allow. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna say is authenticated. That's gonna be the first one. Is authenticated will be that create view. Um, so now if we go into our create, post create, we wanna make sure that the user is authenticated. Of course, we wanna also make sure the server is running before we get that started. Um, but to do this, we can check in an incognito window. And that is command shift in. This is just a private window that is just allowing me to check two things at once. In this case, we're checking that um, this person's authenticated. In this case, it says the message says detail, um, authentication credentials were not provided. So we can actually customize that however we'd like, um, but we're not gonna do that quite yet. And we could also do is admin user. So we could do authenticated and is admin user or just is admin user. Um, that's up to you. And then is authenticated or read only? That has to do with like a retrieve API view um, or a detail API view or more, specific, more specifically retrieve update API view. So this is where, you know, if you wanted to make sure that is, is authenticated or read only could be. So you could go on each one and just define those classes in and of itself. Now by default, the Django REST framework has these classes already defined in the settings, but that's not something we're gonna do quite yet. But instead what we wanna do is actually create our own permission, our own custom permission on whether or not the user is the actual owner user. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one as is authenticated, right? So the post create API view makes sense that it would be is authenticated for it to work. But what we also wanna do is down here in the post update view, I wanna have is authenticated. We can now use is authenticated or read only. Uh, but then I also wanna make sure that the user that's trying to update it is the request, the owner user, the user that actually owns this object. So let's go into our API module and we're gonna make a new file here called permissions.py and we're gonna create our own permission. So we'll do from rest underscore framework dot permissions import base permission. And now we're gonna do class is owner or read only, and this is gonna take base permission as um, the only thing that's being passed, and we're gonna do define has object permission. So this is overriding a method inside of the base permission, and it's gonna take self request and object. So it's gonna, and oh, sorry, one more thing is view. Um, so now all we wanna do is say return object.user equals equals to request.user. So basically, is the requested user the same as the object user or the object owner? And this object user is coming from the model that we're gonna be working with. So in this case, we have user right here. Um, on the documentation for the Django REST framework, it says owner, um, which we are using user. And this is basically the exact same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and we're gonna bring, or we're gonna actually import this in now. So um, from dot permissions, dot permissions, import is owner or read only. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and bring it down into our post update view and put that down. But I also wanna add in a message here. So I'm gonna say message equals to, uh, you must be the owner of this object. 
Okay, so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and try it out. Um, back into where we are authenticated, and we want to change, I'm authenticated as the second user of ABC, so I want to try and change the first user as one of theirs. So I'm going to go into the slug of new title, and go to edit, and it says, right as it comes in, it says, detail, you must be the owner of this object, 403 forbidden. Um, so it came off of the message that we said right there. Um, very, very good. That's exactly what we want to see. There's one other a aspect that we see in the documentation, which is this right here. And that is if request method is in a safe methods. So basically you can change the methods as you want. So I could say my safe methods equal to, and you could just literally say put, and that's it. And you could just change this right here. And that's, it will only allow you to update it. So this was literally a permission if you're the owner or user and all they're trying to do is update it. Um, you can also put this a as a view as well or just define has permission, self request and view. Has permission is um, almost like object permission. It works very similar, but if we do this, um, has permission is just a, ge a generic one. So if you didn't necessarily have an object view, so if you're not using a generic view, you can still use this right here. And of course we wanna put um, your safe method, you could do it like this, just to check it out. Um, there we go. So that is a way to do it. And of course, if we did permissions.safe methods, like in the documentation, if we wanted to use that, the documentation says, if in permissions.safe method, meth, methods, we would actually need to import safe methods here and do that. Uh, just slightly different. Again, it's just our preference on how we actually do our imports. Um, so that's is owner or rain, uh, read only. And again, it's not allowing you to do that, but whereas if you go to your the one that the, that user actually has and try to edit it, um, it's giving us, you must be the owner of this object. So it's actually giving us an error. And it probably has to do with the safe method stuff. Um, it most likely does. So we put git in here and then refresh in here. And now it actually works because git method is about seeing it. Um, cool, because if you remember back to the view itself, it's a retrieve and update view. Um, so that's really basic stuff as far as the permissions are concerned. But this is the requested user. So if you had other attributes to this requested user, let's say for instance, you had membership and you want to do objects.get and user equals to request.user and then you said something like, um, oh, well, let's do member equals to this and then member dot is active. You could do stuff like that to really make this even more of a powerful permission stuff. Um, if you want to, if you want to see more about that in particular for memberships, definitely take a look at the Django REST framework API project that we have um, on codingforentrepreneurs.com or joincfe.com. It's for the serve up membership. Um, if you have questions on that one, let us know in the comments below, and we'll definitely link to it. Um, but that's it for permissions. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.